This is Neil Schneider for MTVS TV at E3 Expo. Virtual reality, of course, is very big at this year's show. To my immediate right is Andrew Lee from AntVR. Welcome to the program, Andrew. T tell us a little bit about AntVR. Okay. Thank you. Uh, hi. <laughs> uh, well, AntVR is a uh, Chinese startup, and uh, we are based on in Beijing, and uh, our main product is this kind of like a uh, headset uh, display for virtual reality. So maybe you could elaborate, I mean, this is quite some getup you have here. You've got the head mount display, you've got some type of infrared camera setup. Maybe you could tell us a little bit about, about what AntVR is capable of. Where, where are its specifications? Well, uh, our headset is designed for, uh, for, your, uh, for any resources or content you, ha you have on your, com uh, on your personal, com personal computer or Xbox or PlayStations, well, it, uh, it, is, it is compatible with all the traditional uh, games, videos, or images you want to uh, process. And uh, uh, our headset also, uh, this, this version has a um, inf infrared and a visible light camera in front of it, which will help us to track your position as well. Okay, so let's start with something very basic. Okay. So this is, a, it, would you describe this as a prototype at this point? Is it a, continually a work in progress or is this close to final? I prefer to describe it, it as a proto prototype, actually, yeah. Okay, very good. So at this prototype phase, how, how, what would you describe the resolution to be like? Is, can, you, can you talk about that? Okay, uh, well, for this headset I'm holding, the resolution is uh, still like uh, full HD, 1080p. But uh, actually, we do have like a 2K screen, a 2K screen version, but we didn't bring it today here. And uh, well, in our plan, in our schedule, we are going to, uh, we are going to uh, release the final version with uh, uh, the resolution higher than 2K. Yeah. Okay, very good. Now, uh, as far as the tracking is concerned, now of course you have the orientational tracking. At that, that of course you you have magnetometers and accelerometers and so on. But I was really struck by the method that you're you're using for tracking. You're above and beyond that, mm -hmm. because you know a very important part of virtual reality is positional tracking. Yes. You know. Yes. So maybe maybe you can elaborate a little bit as to what you're doing to make this work. Okay. Our tracking system is. Uh, quite easy actually and uh, actually we use this infrared uh, uh, camera to catch the mark point and hold it up so we can see that there yeah this is the infrared camera which can capture the marks on the floor so this is our floor you don't need to put any power supply to it the only thing can work is the marks here those marks they will reflect infrared light which can be captured by the camera and when you move the point will move then our system will um, our system will uh, be corresponding uh, be response to the movement you just do yeah, I was I, I would say that I mean I, I was testing it out now this is still a prototype phase I, I, are there further improvements being made to the tracking system? Uh, yes, uh, because we also have a visible, a visible light camera here. So, uh, in principle, I mean, it's doable that we can also capture the gesture you just make. So, which can make you see your own hands in the virtual world. So it's not just a limitation of sorry. It's not just a case of of tracking your position. Yeah. There's an opportunity here to track your your hands and your arms and yeah. so on based on what's captured. Yes. Have you been experimenting with that yet? Uh, well, we do have some simple experiment on it to uh, testify our uh, idea about this kind of uh, capture. So, what, what? Tell us about now. We okay. So, as far as resolution is concerned, obviously it's a work in progress. I mean, this is, I think, a 1080p panel. Yes. But you're even going beyond that. You have other panels that work just as well. Yeah. You've got positional tracking. You're using these floorboards with with we'll call them retro reflective material or something to reflect it back which is fine what about field of view and latency do you have uh, do you have specs in mind for that as well uh, well the field of the view we are going to enlarge it I mean uh, by design another uh, lens system 
Uh, I think the prototype will come out at the, at the end of this year. At that time, you may see uh, a larger uh, FOV. Yeah. Okay, very good. So what would be, a, in your opinion, what would be an optimal field of view to, to, to achieve with this? Well, I think uh, the, well, the most uh, proper FOV should be larger than like 110 degrees. Horizontal, I have to say that. Very good. So how, if I can ask, how did you get involved with this company? I mean, I've heard of Ant VR for some time. This is the first time I've experienced it. How, how did you get connected with this? Well, actually, I'm the one of the co-founders of the company, yeah. So let me rephrase the question. Yeah. How did you get excited? How did you start this company up? Why did you start this company up? Okay, because uh, we are young and uh, we believe, I mean, my friends, our founders, our co-founders and the founders, we all believe that the VR will be the, well, will play a very important role in the future. And the market for VR is also very promising. That's why we decided to do this. And uh, we start again, we start a company just one year ago and uh, we finished uh, our first campaign on the uh, Kickstarters and uh, uh, we are now uh, hire, we are now hiring more people to deal with the design, the production, the marketing and well we are doing a company for VR actually. You know, I, I have to say I'm very impressed. And what I'm impressed by, of course, this is you know technology in the works, and you know it, it's a prototype phase. So you still have a lot more work to do, I'm sure. Yeah. Um, but you know, we're at E3. This is a really a fair size exhibit. Clearly, you're very serious about this. H how big's your team now? Actually, right now we have like uh, more than 50 guys. 50 people working for you. Yeah. So that's amazing. That's really, really good stuff. Now tell us a little bit about the software side. Have, have you put some thought into like a software developers kit for this? Any special needs to, to make this work? Uh, actually, we have our own uh, software engineers who works for the SDK, which supports our devices. And uh, we also get con uh, connection with some uh, game developer or video de developers in China market. And uh, we are also trying to get communication with the developers in United States. Actually, we are going to open a new office in San Francisco by the end of this year, which can help us on to talk or communicate more with you guys. Well, wonderful. Thank you so much for joining us on MTBS. Thank you. This is Neil Schneider for MTBS TV at E3 Expo at the Ant VR exhibit, something to see. Thank you for watching. We will, of course, be back with more.